No, every, every president benefits from this, from this kind of action when it's successful and is in big trouble, like Jimmy Carter found out, when it's not successful. And I think that this does, don't, don't forget, we just started the uh, leading from behind narrative. Um, you know, that, that quote that, right. that somebody pulled out of the Ryan Lizza story in The New Yorker, which Charles Krauthammer wrote um, a, a whole column about. And I could see Republicans just salivating at the notion of talking about leading from behind. Uh, it's a little harder now to, to, to make that argument. I, it may be a legitimate argument or not, but it's harder after he's ordered this kind of action and it's been successful. And, you know, Obama, I don't know, this is a guy who's ordered uh, tens of thousands of troops into Afghanistan. This is a guy who has ordered uh, a military campaign against Libya. And now this, I think it's not, it's not going to be easy to say that he's just a professor who, who can't pull the trigger. And what I always find interesting about America, even today, is how much we admire a president who's willing to kill somebody. Yeah, but it's true. It's true. <laughs>